What in the world is up YouTube? I've got an update video here for you today, and as you guys know, I am still stuck playing Black Ops 2, but that's changing this week. Um, I'm really excited because I actually found a deal um, with trade in value for Xbox 360 and old Xbox games, um, a place that actually does it. And so I'm going to get an Xbox One and a couple of games for relatively cheap, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I just got to put an order in later today, um, but I'm finally going to be on next gen, thank goodness, like, um, and you know, that's really, really going to help with my channel and being able to bring actual new gameplay, um, you know, a lot of people are still watching Black Ops 2 just because it's really the only boots on the ground Call of Duty that people are playing right now, um, other than Ghosts. Some, for whatever reason, actually just took off, and that's mainly because the competitive community is playing GBs on it right now, which I don't understand because it was such a... Like, that game was not fun. Um, the time to kill is ridiculously stupid. So, um, <clears throat> nonetheless, um, I, like I said, I'm getting an Xbox One soon. It should be pretty good. Um... I am just gonna get a regular one. I'm not gonna get an S or wait for the X. I saw the other day though that there is a pre-order for the X with the like Scorpio edition. And I don't really know what that's about, but that sounds crazy. And I went and looked at the pre-order prices, and holy crap, game consoles have gotten ridiculously expensive. And keep in mind, guys, like the last time that I bought a console was was probably like like six or seven years ago whenever the xbox 360 slim came out is the last time that i bought a console and i got it for like a hundred bucks but back then like xbox 360 was um i think it was only like three hundred dollars for like the most expensive one which was the 250 gig and that had the gloss finish on it and um but i actually have the 4 gig and then put in a 500 gig hard drive later so um it really wasn't like it wasn't as expensive as it is today like and honestly i think that it's it's a lot of there's a big demand for it and there's you know i mean there's plenty of supply obviously but there's a huge demand and people will literally pay whatever price tag that you put on there for something um especially like the hardcore people that really really like want the newest thing and to be honest i used to be like that i used to want the newest like uh iphone every time it came out or xbox or whatever it is and um you know if you got something that works really well there's there's really not a big difference and the only reason why i'm upgrading to an xbox one is because uh world war ii is coming out very soon in a couple of months and the beta is actually releasing this saturday i believe and um but i'm i i am wanting to get my uh get my xbox one before then so that way i can play the beta and everything is you know i'm gonna be able to get some some good beta gameplay out of that on the new game um when everybody else is getting it too so but first i gotta get my xbox one then pre-order world war ii um, so I got a lot of steps to do before I can actually play the beta. Um, nonetheless, other than that update, I really don't have a whole lot for you guys. Um, if you're wondering the games that I am getting, I'm going to be getting Black Ops 3 for Xbox One, so no more, no more server timeouts or anything like that. That is, I mean, that you guys know that's the whole reason why I have not been playing Black Ops 3 is because... They, I guess they literally canceled the Xbox 360 service. Like, I can't get on there. Um, so, I'm excited. And I get the chance at some of the new guns with supply drops and all of that stuff. But uh, that's that's really nice. The other one that I got is Infinite Warfare. And I know you guys are going to scream at me for this. But I just really want to play it. Mainly for the campaign. Because I've watched a couple of the hours of the campaign. And it is so good and i want to play that but i also want the online experience and um i want to play it from a unbiased perspective and kind of give you guys a review as if 
the game was complete when it came out. So, like, if this game was actually released, if, if like, IW had been released this year with all of the stuff that it has in it, um, all of the DLC, all of that stuff, how good it would be. Because that's basically, like, the way that I'll be playing it. And so, um, that's kind of the review that I want to give you guys just so, you know, you don't... To show you that it wasn't as bad of a game as a lot of people think that it was. Um, I mean, it was pretty good watching it competitively. I really enjoyed that. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. I tried to pick up Rainbow Six Siege, but they were out of it. Uh, it was on back order, and I just... You know, I really didn't feel like waiting for it. And especially when I could just, like, go pick it up at GameStop or something. And um, it's not really that big of a deal to me uh, because... I've played I've played Siege a couple times and I do enjoy it, um, but it definitely wouldn't be a game that I would be able to make consistent videos on. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Be sure to drop a like on the video, drop some comments, and I'll see you in the next one.